Hello everyone, Jennifer with Crafty Bones. Our next vegetable is done. We've got a pepper. What's nice about the pepper is you can make it in so many colors. It can be yellow, green, red, orange, all kinds of colors. So let's get the camera turned around and we'll start this tutorial. All right, so here's our little pepper friend. You see that he's got some nubs down here on the bottom to try to make him look like an actual pepper. Not sure if I like the way it came out. We might make some modifications while we're making this one. But here he is. So what you're going to need to make this is two hooks. I am using a five millimeter for the body and a 4.5 millimeter for the stem. You're going to need some safety eyes, fiber fill, a yarn needle, and then you're going to need a scrap of black for the mouth or you can make the mouth with white and then you're gonna need the yarn for the stem which I am using Red Heart Super Saver in spring green and you'll also need a color for the body of the pepper I made a yellow one this time I'm gonna make a red one and this color is hot red and it is a Red Heart Super Saver so let's get everything ready and we'll get started Okay, so we're going to start with a magic circle. Take your yarn, lay it across your fingers like this, around your fingers, cross them back here, and they're going to be parallel here. Under the first, over the second, whoop, under the first, over the second, and then pull up a loop and through. So that is how you're going to start your magic circle. So for the first round, I want you to chain one, that's not going to count for anything, and we're going to put eight single crochet into the magic circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. All right, I'm going to draw it closed and we're going to slip stitch into the beginning stitch. If you're not sure what that is, just count backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll slip stitch into that one right there. All right, and that was round one. Now for round two, you're going to start by chaining one and into this same stitch that we just slip stitched into. You can see that little gap right there. You are going to put a single crochet. So I'm gonna put this in there and try to crochet it in. So a single crochet. Now into that same space, we're gonna do a half double. So yarn over through the space, yarn over, and then pull through all of them. Now, into the second stitch, we're going to start with a half double crochet. And into that same second stitch, then put a single crochet. All right. So, so far, both of these stitches have two stitches in them. In the next one, because we ended with a single crochet, we're going to start with a single crochet and then put in a half double into the same place. Into the next stitch, start with a half double, and then a single crochet into the same stitch, and then into this stitch, a single crochet, followed by a half double, And this one a half double and a single crochet all right and then again we're going to start with the single crochet and a half double and then a half double into this one I've dropped that back strand now it's woven in enough 
and then a single crochet. And we're going to end up back where we had that first single crochet. Okay, so if you look here, here's our half double and here's our single crochet. So we're going to slip stitch into that. All right, that's the end of round two. So for round three, begin with a chain up and then single crochet into that same space. And then we're going to put another single crochet next to it and then into these next two stitches we're going to put two half doubles I'm sorry the end of round two should have given you 16 stitches all right, so two half doubles into this one. And then these next two, next two stitches are going to be single crochets. One, two. These next two are going to be two half doubles. doubles into that one and two half doubles into this one so for the next two we're gonna put a single crochet two half doubles into the next two singles, two half doubles into the last two. All right, so that's the end of round three. So we're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet that we made. At the end of round three, we have 24 stitches. You can see that it's kind of making this almost wannabe clover. All right, so round four, we've already slip stitch, and that's gonna count as your first stitch, okay? And then slip stitch into the second stitch, and then two half double crochets for the next four stitches, okay? So, One, two, that's one, one, two, that's three, no, that was two, uh, one, two, that's three, one, two, that's four. All right, so after we do our four stitches here that each have two half double crochets in them then we are going to slip stitch into the next two so slip stitch here and slip stitch here for these next four we're going to do two half doubles in each of those okay so here we are one two three well let's try to do two per stitch so that's two three four five six seven eight and then these next two stitches are both going to be slip stitches. 
two half double crochet into the next four. Two, let me get some yarn out. Eight and two slip stitches, and then eight double half crochet total in these four stitches. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, that's the end of round four. You can see that it's very definitively now looks like a four leaf clover. For round five, we're going to slip stitch into the beginning stitch, and again, that counts as your first stitch so you need to really look down in here to see it there this here and here and I will tell you it's gonna be difficult to get into those because they are slip stitches and not like a single crochet or a double crochet or a half double it's gonna be a little tight to get in those most often so don't think you did anything wrong if it takes you a little bit to get in there all right so let's do this there's slip stitch that's one slip stitch and that's two slip stitch. Now we're ready to go on to here again. So what we're going to do is two half double crochets in each of these eight half double crochets. So we're going to end up with each of these petals having 16 more stitches on them. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, halfway there, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, again, these two little tiny stitches in here are going to need slip stitches. They're going to be a little tight to get into. All right, so that's one slip stitch and two. Now we're going to do the same thing here. There's going to be a total of 16 half double crochet. So two in each of these eight stitches. We're going to do this pattern all the way around until we get to the where we started here. And it's going to be a total of 72 stitches. So we had two here plus this 16. Two here, 16 will be here. Two here, 16 will be here. Two here and 16 here. So I will meet you back here when we get to our 72nd stitch. Okay, so we ended with our two half double crochet into this last stitch and that gave us 72 stitches. So for the next round, which is round six, we are going to single crochet into every one of the 72 stitches around. But we're gonna start with these two stitches here that we did slip stitches in the round before, okay? So there's one. Two, three, four, oops, five, six, and so on. And I'll meet you back here at 72, but keep track of where you're at because we do want to join with a slip stitch where we started. Now I know that that's here, but 
if you find it necessary, you can mark it with a stitch marker. All right, I'll meet you back. All right, here is 70, 71, and 72, which should be the half double crochet, which it is. So we're gonna slip stitch into this because that will be our beginning stitch again. All right, so as you can see now, it is starting to buckle. I did pull my center a little tighter. If you don't like it, you can always just pull it back out. The idea behind this is when we stuff it, it will come up like this a little bit and we're trying to create like the little feet on the bottom of a pepper, okay? I did pull it in a little tighter. We might have to do it a little tighter than this still on this pepper when we finish it. Okay, so that should be the end of round six. So for round seven, what we wanna do is try and create a turn so that the bottom has this ridge on it here and starts to make that turn up, okay? So to do that, all right, sorry about that. Okay, so chain up one, and in that same one, you can see that gap there, but we're gonna single crochet into the back of the stitch only, all the way around, okay? So that's one, into the back only, two, three, oops, missed it, four, Five. All right, and you can see that it starts to create this ridge and it starts to turn up. So we're gonna do that for 72 stitches all the way around and I'll meet you right back here. All right, there's 71 and 72 and then slip stitch into the beginning stitch there. All right, that was round seven. So from here, on out at least for the next hour <laughs> it's pretty monotonous for rounds 8 through 32 so 25 total rounds it's going to be one single crochet in each stitch all the way around so 25 rounds is 72 stitches with a slip stitch to connect at the end of each round and a chain up to begin each round so chain up one into the same space that's one two, three, four, five. All right, so you know how this goes. And what's gonna happen is it'll be like a hat. If you've ever made a hat, it'll start to all point straight up like this and start traveling up this way, okay? So I imagine I'm gonna be paused for quite some time and I will meet you at the end of 25 rows of 72 stitches. Bye bye. All right and here is 70, 71, 72 and slip stitch into our beginning stitch. All right so that is 25 rounds of 72 stitches. And now we're gonna put on the mouth and the eyes. So typically what I would have you do is put the seam here in the middle in the back and then flip it over. But what I found on my sample is then the, the little bunches here are off center. So what you should do instead is pop those little bunches out like that now you can see where they're at. And you're gonna end up with your seam a little to the side instead. So here's my two little bunches. I want my mouth in the center of these. Here's one, here's another one, okay? So let's get a piece of black yarn. thinking about here. So you can put the mouth on however you want. 
I just think that between these it's going to look better than it did on my sample. You can do this however you want, however big you want, however small you want. However you want to do it. I think I do it different every time. All right, so let's see. About mid hump here. So mid hump here. Make sure I'm in the same row. I am. Mm, let's see. Yeah, we'll be okay, I think. In three. I'm going to fill this in and when I finish I want to make sure that I'm as close to this edge as I can be because I want to tie these two ends together all right so go ahead and fill that in and I'll meet you back when I'm done okay so I finished sewing on my mouth so now I'm going to take my original thread Tie a couple of knots here. Try not to pull it too tight. You will pucker the fabric that you have just created, which I believe I just did. Yeah, a little. All right, so now we are going to place our eyes. So I like to place my eyes near the corner of the mouth. So let's do that. And then we're going to make sure that we're in the same row. Do that. And let's see. Look at it, see if we like the way that looks. I think this one needs to come in some. I'll move it in a couple spaces. Now it looks even. All right. Lock it down. All right. Now it has a little personality and we are gonna begin with our reduction rounds. All right, here we are, ready to begin round 33. So we're gonna chain one and single crochet into the next seven, but including this space here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. After that, we're gonna single crochet two together. Okay, so that's into the stitch, pull up a loop, into the next stitch, pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all of them. All right, so again, we're gonna repeat. Seven single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and then single crochet two together through the stitch pull up a loop through the next stitch pull up a loop three on your hook yarn over pull through so we're going to repeat that pattern all the way around and that will bring us down to 64 stitches all right we're down to our last two stitches which we're going to single crochet those two together all right that's our 64th stitch and we are going to 
join with a slip stitch into the beginning stitch. All right, so for round 34, chain one and single crochet six times, including the space we just chained up from. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two together through the stitch, pull up a loop, through the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through three loops. All right, back to six single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and two together. All right, and complete that pattern around. Here's my last two together. This will make 50 sticks, 56 stitches for the end of this 34th round. And we're gonna slip stitch into the beginning stitch. Now we're still reducing. Chain one, this is round 35. Single crochet into this stitch that you chained one out of, and we're gonna have five single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and then two together. All right, so again, we're gonna repeat that all the way around. Five single crochet followed by two single crochet together. This time we will end with 48 stitches. Here's the last two stitches of round 35, and there are two single crochet together. And that takes us to 48 stitches. Slip stitch into that first stitch. All right, round 36, chain one. You're gonna single crochet into this space and into the next three, so four total. One, two, three, four, and two together. Oop, didn't get both pieces that time. One, two, three, four, two together. All right, complete that pattern around. I'll be right back. The last two stitches for round 36, and that will give us 40 stitches to total. And slip stitch into the first stitch. Round 37, we're gonna end with 32 stitches. Chain up, start in the same space, do three single crochet. One, two, three, and two together. One, two, three, two together, and I'll meet you at the beginning. All right, at the end of round 37, the last two stitches are going to be single crocheted two together. And that takes us to 32 stitches for that round. Slip stitch into the beginning stitch. All right, round 38. Begin the same way, chain up one, a single crochet here, and a single crochet in the next one, and then two together. All right, so two single crochet, one, two, and single crochet two together. One, two, and so on, and I'll meet you back where we started. All right, so this is, again, this is round 38. These are the last two stitches, and they need to be two together. And that is for a total of 24 stitches. 
and we're gonna slip stitch and I'm gonna pull up a long loop here. This hole is getting pretty small, so we're gonna start stuffing it. I packed the other one pretty firm because I want these little nubs on the bottom that we created to stand out. really pack it down in there. Sides over here are filled in. And it does make it more difficult to close this once it's stuffed so full, but you can't stuff it after you close it. All right, he's pretty firm there. We are gonna pull that in a little near the end. So let's move on to row 39. up a smidge. All right, we need to tighten that stitch back in. So, for row 39, we're going to end with 16 stitches. So chain up one, and in that same space, do one single crochet and then single crochet the next two together. One single crochet next two together. One single crochet Next two together. Oops, got some fuzz on his face. All right, so finish that pattern around and I'll meet you right back here. All right, the last two stitches in this row are two single crochet together. All right, and again, that's 16 stitches and we're gonna slip stitch into this first stitch. So for the next row, it's just gonna be two double, or crochet, two together all the way around. So chain up one and then you're going to go into that same stitch and pull up a loop and the next one pull up a loop. So that's one and we should do that eight times. Two. Three. Three. 
for five. stitches together here. That's eight. And we're going to slip stitch. And for this final round, which will be round 41, we're going to do the same thing we did in round 40, but we're going to end with four stitches. So chain up one and single crochet two together four times. This one. Well, I dropped it, so let's see. There we go. Or not. There we go. And don't worry about slip stitching this time. So when you pull out the tail this time, the tail you use is gonna need to be feet long, like multiple feet long. So oh, like one, two, three, four. I have probably six feet, probably won't need that much, but just in case. So we're not gonna worry about closing this the rest of the way by looping all of those together because we're gonna put a stem on this anyway. But now we're trying to make those bumps a little more noticeable on the feet. So you can see them sort of here. All right, so what you're gonna do is plunge the needle down through the middle and come back out the middle. So let me see. It'd be easier with a longer needle Mine's pretty short, it's like a three inch needle. Aw, oh, I had it. Don't let go of your needle. There we go. All right, so we want to pull it down a little bit. Like I said, we're gonna cover it with a stem, so don't worry too much about it. But to make these divots show up more, I'm gonna move in in between two of these rounded edges and I'm gonna move in two or three stitches and go back through and come back out the top. It can be anywhere on the top just so long as it's on the top. All right, so we've made that divot just a little bit stronger. So, to match that now, we're gonna go down a few stitches in here, but we're gonna come back out the middle. Let's see what we did there. Okay, now we're gonna move to the next one and come back out the middle on the top. So we did this side, so now we're gonna go here and come back out the middle. All 
All right, we've done this one and this one. Now we're gonna go here and we're gonna come out the middle. Oops, sorry. And now we're gonna go to this side. Yeah, I probably have more than enough yarn than what I needed. And it looks like I've done this side, this side, and this side. Now I'm going to do here. Come out the middle. There we go. So, because the bottom is going to be our finished edge. I'm going to leave that like that, but up here, I'm going to loop in, tie a knot, tie another knot, then take your needle, push it anywhere out, Pull it out. Pull it out tighter than what you want it to be. Cut it and it'll go back in. All right, so there is the body of the pepper. Now let's work on the stem. Okay, so for the stem, it's gonna be a little bit of tight crocheting for a little while. I have switched to my four and a half millimeter hook. We're gonna start with the magic circle. So hold it here around your fingers with an X on the palm side, straight on this side. Under the first, over the second, twist and chain. Okay, so, just like the last time with the magic circle, we're gonna chain one and it doesn't count as anything. And then into the circle, we're gonna put five single crochet. One, two, three, Stuck on that now. Four, five. And pull it tight. And then if you have to, you can count back. One, two, three, four, five. This was our first stitch. So we are gonna slip stitch into that first stitch. Again, this is gonna be tight for a while. Okay, so from this point forward, or after this stitch, we're going to chain one and then single crochet into this same stitch, but we're only going to use the back part of the stitch. So we're still in this stitch, so we're going to go there, one, two, I know it's hard to see, my thumb is bigger than the yarn. Three, four, five. Now this strand is gonna be the stuffing for our stem, okay? So five, four, three, two, one. This right here is our beginning stitch. So we're gonna slip stitch into it. And then make sure it's turning the right way. Okay, so we created a ledge and it's turning. And now for the next few rows, four rows, three through eight, so six rows, we're just gonna do a single crochet all the way around. So chain up one, one, two, three, a little knot back here. Four, five, and then we're going to single crochet into the beginning stitch, chain one, and start again. And we're going to do that for six rows. I'll meet you at the end of six rows. All right, so there is 
the six rounds of single crochet. So what I want to do now is get rid of this um, string from our magic circle. I just I'm using a fabric pencil and just pushing it in there in, into the stem. It'll act as a stuffing plus it'll conveniently store our tail. There we go. It is now in. Braid my yarn up a little bit. Let's see. Okay, so we have just completed the final uh, row, so that of the growing, so that would have been row eight. So for row nine, chain up one, and then we're going to crochet just in the front. So just the front of that stitch is a single crochet. Do that all around five times. So that's one. Two, three, four, five. And what that's going to do is turn it back up. So now we're going to go and slip stitch back into our first stitch here. All right, so chain up one. Round 10, put two double, excuse me, two single crochet into each stitch, okay? So right where we are, we're gonna do two. One, just all kinds of tearing up my yarn today. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And we're going to slip stitch back where we started here in that first single crochet. All right, again, that's ten stitches. And that was for round 10. So for round 11, chain up one, two single crochet into the first stitch, one into the next, two here, and then one into the next. We're gonna finish that all the way around for a total of 15 stitches. I'll meet you back. Last stitch in the row, that's 15, and slip stitch back where we started from. All right, that was row 11. So for uh, round 12 of the stem, chain one, and put a two single crochet back into that stitch. And then for the next two stitches, they're gonna be singles. Two, two singles into this stitch, and then two separate singles. This pattern will repeat around, and we will end up with 20 stitches for this round. And again, this is round 12. three stitches left and we need three to complete our pattern so two in this one and a single here and a single here and we're gonna slip stitch back into our beginning stitch all right round 13 this is our final round chain up one two single crochet into that same spot I'm sorry that last round ended in 20 stitches this one's going to end with 25. So we have two in the first, and then for the next three, here, here, and here, they are going to be singles. One, two, three, and then 
put two singles into this stitch and again back to three singles and I'll meet you back here. This is the last two stitches, 29 and 30 and slip stitch back where we started. And we're going to pull out about a foot and a half to attach it. Okay, so here's what we have. And we're going to attach it here. So let's get you slightly elevated and we'll get ready for that. All right, so we have our yarn now attached to a yarn needle. We're going to go down. And then we're going to come back up and we're going to go down and come back up move our stem out of the way a little bit go down come back up down and back up you can go around as many times as you want you can stop here once you've been around once I tend to go around until I don't have much yarn left just so I know it's gonna stay if I happen to pick it up by the stem Go in closer. All right, I've been around a couple of times. Now I'm going to pick up a small amount here. Tie a knot. Tie another knot. Oops, that's not right. There we go. And just like we did with the red, we're going to... I'm not sure if I like the way I attach that or not. I think I'm going to go down and up over here and spread that out a little. Yeah, that's better. Now I'm going to tie another knot. It doesn't feel very tight there. Let's go down one more time. There we go. Not. And another knot. And as I was saying, just like we do with the red, just push this down and pull it out somewhere. Doesn't matter where. And you're going to pull it out tighter than what you want it. Snip it and it'll go back in. So there he is. Let's see if I can't get a little bit more height on that. There he is. I think he's cute. And here is his little yellow friend. Again, these can be made in red, orange, yellow, green. Peppers can be so many different colors, but I want to thank you guys for watching and happy crocheting.